Hi Cancer, welcome to this Tower Love reading. My name's Sophia, welcome to this community. So what I was getting was, uh, um, it's interesting, it was like a an awakening and it had something to do with the sea. So <laughs> this might not resonate with everybody, this sea business, but something to do with, it could be literally just in the bath with sea salt or something, sea, sea those things. But something about, um, I feel it was like a, a, a light bulb moment whilst you're in the beach. You could be visualising at the beach or something with water and because the alchemical element of water and it could be your emotions just aligned with you and you're seeing a whole new world, a, n a whole new way of doing things. Right? I don't know if that's a twin flame connection with your person, with work, with family. It was like a, just a whole new world. That's what I was getting. So let's see what that is connected with the cards. So Cancer, I have a, a fa Facebook group. Um, it's created for us who are in mission. We collaborate together. Now, if you are watching me, you resonate with the title of Twin Flame, Starseed, Lightworker, Palladian, Old Souls, whatever you want to call yourself, even Soulmate. But you're generally an alien celestial galactic being here to be a humanitarian or something to do with Mother Earth, right? Um, so you're supposed to be collaborating with soul beings like yourself. And that's the Facebook group. Us lot of who are in who are doing the humanitarian work or collaborate in the Facebook group. Mm, why is that? Going back over something. You could be reflecting. I just heard about reflecting and changing your path. So you could be doing the counseling actually, actually. So yeah, in the Facebook group, we're all in there. I post additional readings. I haven't posted this week because my internet was out, but I'll post next week. You also get free, um, free programs and stuff like that so this is about yeah this is a judgment an awakening and uh, uh of because the judgment call is revisiting so there's something you're doing and you're revisiting it now this could be your person but i feel it's you so you're revisiting some kind of idea because i feel like it's the the match so it's the ace of wands something that you're passionate about you're rethinking or seeing a whole new way of doing it like I said, it could be your person, but let's see what the cards say. Three of Wands to the Strength card, Five of Wands. So mm, it could be your person then, because to me, you look pissed off. This is my pissed off, fuck off, matey card. <laughs> Three of Wands is, but like, yeah, it could be your person. I feel a transformation here, because this to me is a phoenix rising. person is r risen from the ashes. Three of Wands is now going for it. Seeing the ships coming in, going for what they wish and desire getting the strength to do it no more i'm getting strength next to five of wands no more internal and external conflict sorry no more yeah look like i said a whole new world right the wheel of fortune to me the both of the cards are very similar right um the Wheel of Fortune is rising up into your masculine to go for your wishes and desire. This, yeah, a new path. Because the Wheel of Fortune has, can you see this is about tarot, tarot, both ways, which way. This is, like I said, a switch, a new turnaround, a new way of doing things. This is the wheel, right? So tarot, tarot, tarot is a fool's journey. Fool's journey is a journey of your life. That's why it's connected to Kabbalah. Kabbalah is a philosophy of how you live on this planet, right? So this is about choosing another perspective of how you, instead of waiting for your ships to come in, right? I feel your person is awoken to, oh my gosh, I've been going around to babies, mums and whatever all this time and I, I could have done it this way. That's an example, right? Don't feel it's you, but it's interesting. The initial energy, I felt it's you. So maybe the um, universe is now waking you up to see what to do about this now, Cancer. Or, you know, we are all star signs. I've got to say that. I haven't said it for a while. So if you're, you know, if it's not... <laughs> the individual star signs I do is so you get a snippet about this, but the collective reading is the generalization of the collective, right? So it's better to watch that, if anything. 
but you can go on any star sign which is red, red, red uh, which you feel that's very important because this is about perception you feel is not connected with you and i guarantee if it resonates it resonates because we are all planets as above so below not it doesn't say as to above to sun planet sun moon to the to the moon and you're rising it says as above so below right and as above how many stars planets are as above so we're all star signs anyway so this is what you need to know you need to do more your internal conflict here because i feel you're pissed off but there's a, yeah because your person is getting the strength to understand that your person was connected to someone or something else and it's getting the strength to do that and this is dealing with that inter internal conflicts because you were just waiting for your person right but like i said there's a new way of doing it you might not be seeing it or you have the awakening i can do this differently book counseling will help you i pro i guarantee and i'll repeat repeat this in case in case you're new i guarantee everything on my website my image readings my tarot readings i don't do tarot readings or you know if you book me you get an image reading what if you're that bothered you would see what an image reading is because i've got it in a video right and i'm that confident i can transform your life that you can buy counseling of anyone in mission and i guarantee they can change your life because i made the counseling program so whatever situation you have here with your person that you need the strength to get over this commitment issue right with your person this universe the wheel of fortune it was designed because you're judging your person on something that his mum and dad might have said listen you just stick with her mate that's it and he might want to keep his mum and dad happy so he's just stayed in a commitment but you're pissed off because they're staying in a commitment but yours your you like attracts like so what is you are you committed to are you committed to go to the 3d job and not change planet earth and join us to be humanitarians which you feel you really are Oh, but Sophia, that's my twin flame. Yeah, they know that as well, right? But they stay committed to this situation over here. You know your twin flame, like worker, star, seed, empath, whatever, but you stay in your 3D job. Same thing, like attracts like. Eight of Pentacles is you have an, in, an eternal conflict to do the hard work to go towards mission. That's why you, if you're not doing Eight of Pentacles, which is mission, then it's seven of pentacles. You're not fully invested. And what does your person do? They don't fully invest in you. They fully invest elsewhere. But like I said, there's a massive, a new change around. I feel your person's doing it and they're waking up to you to do it. But if you want to align with your person, you have to deal with that internal conflict about your person and the third party and align with yourself. Who are you, right? You're a mission. You know you are here to be something bigger than what you're doing. It's not caring in a nursing home or or or, or, or nurse or, or or volunteering in in a charity shop. You know you're bigger than that, and what you're doing there doesn't touch the surface. Us, we make changes. You buy my health program, I'll guarantee I'll extend your life. Do you do stuff like that? No. So you're not in mission. And that's why you have internal conflict with why have I attracted something that I can't have? Because you are not being yourself. Like attracts like. So it's like they're teaching you about that. This is this is uh, sun and moon aligning here. This is your twin flame. It's like your person will shift from that commitment to your commitment. When you understand the dark and the light, the sun and the moon, the yin, the yang. Because in my strength card has the moon and the sun, these twin flame counterparts. When you understand that concept of what you see, your perception of darkness is, then you get the light, the sunlight, right? An enlightenment moment, right? To move forward and deal with this internal conflict. But like I said, I feel your person's coming away. They're ready. Because this strength card is underneath your person. He or she's ready to leave one commitment to commit to you. But are you going to do it? Because all they will do is commit to something else. Because it's an impossibility. You are here to teach of the laws of the planet. Like I said, the fool's journey, Kabbalah, like attracts light. So if your person is loving themselves and coming out of that tradition, religion, or I just had a few kids and don't mean I'm in love 
with my baby's mum as much as you, right? But then if you're not aligned and working, that's their true self. They're aligning with, I want to go with my wishes and desires. That's you. That's a hard thing they have to get the strength to come away from. But all you're doing is sitting in this 3D job and expecting them to come towards you. It's not alignment. What are you fighting for? What do you need to get the strength for? You just have an internal battle because you're not doing who you are, which is mission. And oh, Sophia, I'm doing Reiki acupuncture. Don't all twin flame light workers do that? They're not with their person. Because soulmates do it. If soulmates uh, is doing it, then it's not what you're supposed to be doing. It's the esoteric work is what you're supposed to be doing. That's what mission is about. You want to know about it? Join the Facebook group. Simply check out. I've got all about what I've just said in this snippet of a video on my website, right? Get to know thyself. That's what it is. I've told you that. Know thyself. Like attracts like. You've heard of that, right? You've heard of that. So stop cussing out your person. It's that is him or her, but, you know, like attracts like. So you've got conflict outside, conflict within. Sort out that. Work hard on dealing on the conflict within because your person's ready. They're now ready for this new world with you. A new start. It's amazing, this here. But like I said, you, your person's phoenix rising, but you seem pissed off here. Are you going to make the changes? It's up to you. Okay, I'm out. Check out the website. Book me. Speak to you later.